a good day to all of you. Today is going to be a brief uh, introduction to endometriosis. Endometriosis is a poorly understood gynecological condition. And because it is poorly understood, compliance for treatment uh, amongst patients diagnosed with endometriosis is poor. And this leads to complications of untreated pelvic endometriosis. So what is endometriosis? Endometrium is a specialized lacy layer which is found on the inside of the uterine cavity. So the uterus is made of three different layers. The outer bit um, is a pink skin which is more or less the covering for the uterus. The middle bit is a thick muscle layer which is what cramps and gives a menstrual period cramps uh, for women during a menstrual flow and the inner layer is called the endometrium. So the endometrium responds to the ovarian hormones. So immediately after uh, a menstrual period, the endometrial lining is very thin and under the influence of the ovarian hormones, the endometrium thickens and this is in preparation to receive a pregnancy. But if the, this, this endometrial cells found anywhere outside the uterine cavity is called endometriosis. So this can happen. The commonest sites for endometriosis is either within the uterine wall or the muscle, which is called adenomyosis, or in the ovary, which are called endometriomas, or in front of the uterus or behind the uterus. And these are called pelvic endometriotic deposits. So why does endometriosis happen? Similar to um, the menstrual outflow experienced by women during a menstrual period, the proposed theory is that the lining is also shed through the fallopian tubes into the pelvis. And the in not, but if that be the case, then all women who have menstrual period should have endometriosis, right? But this does not, this is not the case. And that is because the accepted um, theory is that um, women who do not have endometriosis have the ability to clear out the cells that are deposited into the pelvis during menstrual flow. This is not as efficient as in women with endometriosis and therefore the deposits are left behind. So these deposits behave like endometrial tissue in that they bleed every month during a menstrual period. So this causes a very sticky nature um, of the blood within the endometric deposits in the pelvis. And this causes things to stuck um, quite badly. So the ovary may have got stuck to the tube um, or the tube itself may have got stuck to the uterus or the uterus may have got stuck to the bowel. Um, so it is generally a very adhesive uh, condition, endometriosis, untreated pelvic endometriosis, an adhesive condition. And that is why it is important to be treated. So why um, does endometriosis need to be treated? As we discussed already, it is in order to minimize the complications um, of untreated pelvic endometriosis. So let us look at um, individual organs in the pelvis. Say for example, there's been an endometric deposit in the ovary, which causes an endometrioma. So every, every month, similar to menstrual period outside the body, the ovary, the endometrial deposit in the ovary also has a menstrual period. So the blood collects within the ovary and this forms a cyst. And this is cyst is called an endometrioma. And the consequences of an endometrioma is that the reserve eggs, which are expected to come out of the ovary every month in preparation for a pregnancy, are very delicate cells. And the endometrioma has blood, which can um, cause tension within the ovarian tissue. So the delicate oocytes are destroyed because of the tension created by the uh, tense endometrioma. So therefore, the ovarian reserve is reduced um, in women with endometriosis. 
And uh, the only way to minimize this from happening is to be on treatment for endometriosis. Um, say, for example, there is some uh, uh, a patient has rectovaginal endometriosis, which means um, there is an endometriotic deposit behind the uterus, and behind the uterus lies the large bowel. So the large bowel and the uterus may get stuck together quite badly, and this can cause quite bad symptoms for the patient. So talking about symptoms, who are uh, the women who are suspected to have endometriosis? In general, it is people who have very heavy periods or they have very painful periods or a combination of both. A mild amount of period pain is to be expected in almost all women who have periods. However, in people with endometriosis, the, the amount of pain affects the quality of life to the point they have to take time off work or regular medications in order to, for them to carry on with their daily routine. So if anybody has either of these symptoms or both the symptoms, it is important to see a gynecologist to be assessed uh, for pelvic endometriosis.